Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the following exponential equation and expressions. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have calculate 2 to the power of 2013 minus 6 times 2 to the power of 2011, all divided by 4 to the power of 1010. We have to leave our answers in positive exponent. So rewriting that, we have 2 2013 minus 6 times 2 2011 divided by 4 to the power of 1010. We're going to change the base into prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that cannot be divided by any other number except themselves and 1. So 2 is a prime number, so we leave 2 to the power of 2013. As it is, we have minus, changing 6. 6, we have 2 times 3, so we have that as 3 times 2, the dots are multiplications, times 2 to the power of 2011. We've been able to change our 6 to 3 times 2. Then we change our 4 into 2 to the power of 2, because 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4. We still have a 1010 outside. So simplifying further, we have... 2 to the power of 2013 minus, I'm going to apply laws of exponent here because they have the same base, so I'm going to add the exponent. There's an invisible one here. So I have that as 3 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 2011, that's 2012, divided by laws of exponents at the bottom. If I have a to the power of x, all to the power of y, this multiplies each other, it becomes a x y. So we have that as 2 to the power of 1010 times 2, 2020. The next step is to factorize by bringing out the lowest exponent. We have the same base of 2 as shown in each of the terms, so I'm going to pick the base that has the lowest exponent, we have 2013, 2012, and 2020. In this case, the lowest exponent is the 2012. So I'm going to be factorizing 2 to the power of 2012. To make it easy to understand, I'm going to break down each of the terms into exponents of 2012 so that you see exactly what I'm factorizing. So the first one I have 2 to the power of 2012, which is our lowest exponent. To make it 2013, I need one more, so that's 2 to the power of 1. Because if I add the exponent, I'm still going to have 2013. I have minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2012. I leave that as it is because it's already in the exponent 2012. At the bottom, I'm going to do the same, 2 to the power of 2012 times 2020 minus 2012 will give us 2 to the power of 8 because if i add 8 to 2012 that will give us 2020 so what has happened is it's easy to spot our factors from each of the terms so the next step is to factorize at the top i'm going to take out to 2012 i'm left with 2 to the power of 1 minus 3 for our numerator at the bottom Taking out our 2012 or 2012, I'm left with 2 to the power of 8. That will give us, this cancels out, 2 to the power of 2012 divided by each other will give us 1. I'm left with 2 minus 3, that's minus 1, divided by 2 to the power of 8. The question says we should live in positive exponent. This is already in positive exponents, so our answer remains the same minus 1 over 2 to the power of 8. Let's look at the next example. In the next example, we have given p equals 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x all divided by 5 to the power of x plus 5. If x is 2011, then what is p? I'm going to rewrite that. I have p being equal to 
5 to the power of x in how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to double check that. 5 all divided by 5 to the power of x plus 5. We've been told that the value of x is 2011. So every occurrence of x, I'm going to replace that with 2011. So I have 5, 2011, plus 5, 2011, 5, 2011, 5, 2011. I think I need one more. I'm going to double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divided by, we have P equals. Then at the bottom I have 5, 2011, plus 5. The next step is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of 2011. What I'm going to have is at the top I have 5 to the power of 2011 in bracket 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's in 5 places. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. I have 5 to the power of 2011. What I'm left with is 5 to the power of 5. Remember, laws of exponent, a to the power of x times a to the power of y is the same as a to the power of x plus y. So I've separated my 5 to the power of 20 11 or 2011 plus 5 into 5 to the power of 2011 times 5 to the power of 5. You observe that 5 to the power of 2011 cancels each other. Then I'm left with 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 5, divided by 5 to the power of 5. There's an invisible one here, applying laws of exponent, that will be, because they have the same base, that will be the exponent at the top minus the exponent at the bottom, that will be 5 to the power of minus 4, and writing it as a positive exponent, if we have any exponent, any base raised to a negative exponent to make it positive, we turn it into a fraction with a positive exponent. So 5 to the power of minus 4 will become 1 over 5 to the power of positive 4. Let's look at the last example. In the last example, we had to show that 2 to the power of 2011 times 5 to the power of 2007 equals 1.6 times 10 raised to the power 2008. I'm going to prove from my left hand side. So I have from my left hand side, what do I have on my left hand side? I have 2 to the power of 2011 times 5 to the power of 2007. I'm going to use the exponent, the lowest exponent as my base or my reference. In this case, that's 2007. So I'm going to split up 2 to the power of 2011 into 2 to the power of 2007 times to make 2011 that will be so to the power of 4 multiplying 5 to the power of 2007. Remember, laws of exponents state that if I have x, y to the power of a is the same as x to the power of a times y to the power of a. And if you check my 2 to the power of 2007, and 5 to the power of 2007, they both have the same exponent, so I'm going to group them. I have 2 times 5 to the power of 2007, multiplying that 2 to the power of 4. 2 times 5 will give us 10 to the power of 2007, times 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. 16 in scientific form will be, as you have my 20 to the power of 2007, times 1.6 times 
times 10 to the power of 1 because I have terms in the same base I'm going to group them together so I have 1.6 times 10 to the power of 2007 plus 1 will give us 2008 and that is equal to my right hand side as shown in the question thanks for watching bye